This is the Mondak Oilfield Review with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies, and this is the Mondak Oilfield Review, soon to be called the Daily Crude Life Update. I'm your host, Jason Spies. On today's program, we hear from Joseph Dancy, Executive Director for the Oil and Gas, Natural Resources, and Energy Center for the University of Oklahoma College of Law. In just a moment, part of our exclusive interview with Joseph Dancy with the University of Oklahoma College of Law on an update with Shale Play USA, including the Bakken oil field, right here on the Mondak Oil Field Review, soon to be called the Daily Crude Life Update. Jason Spies, the most trusted voice in the Bakken. I totally agree with you, and the word that you brought into this is fact. You tell the facts, and then you will let people make up their own minds. If you want someone who's competent, you don't want to get a bunch of rookies. Love listening to Jason Spies on the radio, and if I miss him there, I catch him online. Let's bring in Jason Spies, who is a multimedia journalist in North Dakota. Um, Jason, what's your thought on this? No one does an interview like Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies, and this is the Mondak Oil Field Review, soon to be called the Daily Crude Life Update. I'm your host, Jason Spies. On today's program, we hear from Joseph Dancy, Executive Director for the Oil and Gas, Natural Resources, and Energy Center for the University of Oklahoma College of Law. In just a moment, part of our exclusive interview with Joseph Dancy with the University of Oklahoma College of Law on an update with Shale Play USA, including the Bakken oil field, right here on the Mondak Oil Field Review, soon to be called the Daily Crude Life Update. When they know the pipeline capacity is coming online, you know, they're going to call up their local frack crew and say, you know, gee, send me a couple of crews because I'm going to start fracking and get these wells ready, you know, hooked up and ready to go. And they said that's going to be interesting because over the last six months to a year, a lot of these frack companies, because of lack of activity, you know, number one, have not kept up their equipment. Number two, have laid people off. And if you ever go out the Midland, it's not like there's a whole bunch of people, you know, sitting around, you know, wanting to work, uh, you know, regardless of what you're going to pay them. And they said, you know, they're going to get on the phone and there's going to be a shortage of completion crews. And you sure as heck don't want to spend a whole, you want someone who's competent. You don't want to get a bunch of rookies to complete a well that you, know, you just spent five or six million dollars in drilling and have you know somebody doesn't who is not experienced to go out and mess up the completion or you know you take the you take the risk with inexperienced people. And to listen to the full length interview with Joseph Dancy with the University of Oklahoma College of Law, or to listen to other Mondak oil field reviews. Visit thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. As we mentioned earlier in the program, the Mondak Oil Field Review will soon be called the Daily Crude Life Update. My name is Jason Spies, and we're asking you to check out thecrudelife.com for past interviews, articles, features, plus much, much more. Thecrudelife.com. From the staff of the Mondak Oil Field Review and the Daily Crude Life Update, my name is Jason Spies, asking you to keep calm and frack on. <music> 